So I'm working on my nine box, which is my 20 minute plan method of the stuff that I need to do to work on my business instead of the stuff that you work on in your business. You know what I mean? Not your day to day grind, but the stuff that you use to make your business better. Some of this is related to chores that will help me grow my business. Some of this is working on project stuff that's a little bit bigger than you know, my actual day-to-day -day deliverables, but that will give me more opportunity going forward. This is all in our 20 minute plan jumpstart. And it's the same stuff that I teach to the people who join Owner Insiders because this is one of the pieces that's missing in our businesses. One system I've resisted is doing things in batch. Strangely, because when it comes to blogging, I usually write two blog posts at a time so that I have one ready to go in the future. But when it came to other stuff that I do, I resisted doing it in batch. So I think a batch, you know, lots of one thing at a time says you have a lot of it ready to go. Like meal prep, you can do, you can make six to eight meals all at one time and have them ready to go since you don't have to worry about it throughout the rest of your week, right? I have been resisting doing some of that. But that's another Vardy thing that he was talking about was that he does things in batch. So, and John Lee Dumas and Kate Erickson, they're always talking about it. Maybe doing lots of recordings of your podcast, you know, lots of whatever. I'm a media business, so some of my ex examples are around making media, but you might not be a media business. So your batch might be something different than mine, but I still think it's a good idea. And hey, quick shout out to Richard Tubb. I'm in the parking lot of my gym. Just saw your comment. Thank you for the kind words, Richard. I had a conversation with Mark from Enterprise Rent-A-Car. We were talking about one of the reasons Bill Belichick is such a great football coach, because Mark wants to go into sports management. And we said it's because Bill is an expert at the fundamentals. So get this, because it gets kind of more interesting. Mike Vardy, who is the productivityist, or whatever he calls himself, he's a productivity guy. Mike says, we were talking about the fact that there are things that I do that I sort of follow a process, but that I don't follow to the letter, and I don't look at my form to review my process. And the reason is because it's so embedded in me at this point. And he agreed that that's what he does too. Then comes an interesting paradox, right? Because if you are good at process, and if process matters, and if the fundamentals matter, but sometimes you're not supposed to work the, the, the fundamentals, when to and when not to, or how does that work? And what it amounts to is a really simple review. Uh, does this work for me? Does this work for my customer? Is this process still getting me what I want? One of the things that we tend to do a lot in business and in life is we keep going after the same actions to produce different results which we know is Einstein's definition of insanity, right? Or I think that's who gets credited for it. Maybe he was just insane. But basically, does this work for me? Does this work for my customer? Is it giving me the results I want? If yes, then keep doing that process. The reason Mike Fardy and I said that we were doing some of our work, some of our repeat work, without directly following our own format is because we've built the format so ingrained that we don't have to refer to the document anymore. That that's a different thing. It's also important to point out that if we were to change things or vary things or make it a lot different, we'd probably go back and relearn this new way and work from that and actually work from a document for a while. I think, I'm speaking for Vardy at this point, but you know, you find out from him. One other detail that comes out of this is that I have built my business so that I try to do as least of the grunty groundworky stuff as I possibly can and spend more of my time on the creative stuff. But I also have to push myself to spend more time on sales, more time on driving business to myself, and then serving those people that I have the opportunity to serve. I'd rather spend my time serving people, but if I'm not working on selling, then I'm gonna run out of people to help at some point, right? They eventually move on and do their other stuff. So that is what you do with your business too. You've got to work on both. You've gotta work on what you are doing that gets you paid, and you've gotta work on what you're going to do to make 
your new customers show up and give them as much love as you possibly can as well. All right, so I got a little bit of laundry to do. I piled up my little red wagon. Holy cannoli, look at all that laundry. That is mountains of it. And then I'm after I'm done with that, I'm gonna go back to some more creative stuff. So that's how I've structured my day. How do you structure yours? And what parts of it are you leaving to chance that maybe you shouldn't be? And what parts do you think maybe some process could help you, but you've been a little bit process resistant? Curious to know, drop me an email, chris at owner.media. That'd be fun.